Hi everyone, today we're taking a look at the 2022 Hyundai Kona Electric. The Kona first came to market for 2019 and gets a refresh for 2022. The Kona Electric gets some new exterior updates such as the all new front fascia and new headlights. Under the hood it has a 150 kilowatt electric motor to deliver 201 horsepower. It uses a standard level 2 onboard charging system and gets approximately 250 miles of electric range in eco mode. When connected to a level 3 fast charger it will charge from 10 to 80 percent in approximately 45 minutes. The Kona Electric comes in two different trim levels known as the SEL and Limited. SEL models start at $34,000 while the Limited comes in at $42,500. This model here is the Kona Electric Limited that clocks in just under $44,000 out the door. Let's hop in and take a closer look at the 2022 Hyundai Kona Electric. The refreshed styling gives the Kona a more simple aerodynamic look. The new front fascia takes on the Tesla minimalist approach. The EV port is located within the front bumper on the driver's side and is not as seamlessly hidden as it is on other EVs. The split lighting style remains with a thin slit of daytime running LEDs up top and the actual headlights on the bottom, both featuring a new LED signature. The side profile remains the same with a stretched wheelbase that minimizes overhangs. Around back, the Kona remains full of character with new LED lighting cladding on the C-pillar and separated turn and reverse lights that follow the lines of the hatch. The Kona Electric offers a fair amount of pep in its acceleration, delivering 201 horsepower and 291 pound-feet of torque, which is enough to propel it from 0 to 60 in around 7.6 seconds. There are three different driving modes known as Comfort, Eco, and Sport, which can be easily adjusted. Its compact size makes it easy to handle around corners, though the steering tends to be on the softer side. The regenerative braking system is available in multiple levels, allowing for nearly one-pedal driving. However, it won't come to a complete stop without hitting the brakes. When fully charged, it will deliver a range of approximately 258 miles, which is a pretty solid number and on par with competitors such as the Chevy Bolt EV, Kia Niro EV, and Volkswagen ID.4. The Kona delivers over 100 miles more of range than the Nissan Leaf and Mazda MX-30. EPA estimates the Kona Electric to get a combined rating of 120 miles per gallon electric. Hopping inside, the layout is simple. At the center of the dash is a reachable 10.25-inch touchscreen that includes dials for audio and tuning, as well as a menu of navigation buttons for quick access. The center console features a bridge design thanks to an electronic push-button gear selector. Below the main console is additional storage space. Drivers will face a 10.25-inch digital cluster with visual graphics that will update with the various drive modes. The infotainment system integrates with both Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. A cord is required on higher trim models like the Limited, which uses the 10.25-inch screen. SEL models will integrate with these systems wirelessly on the 8-inch touchscreen. The Kona also offers wireless charging in a functional location at the top of the center console. Built-in navigation and 8-speaker Harman Kardon premium audio system, cameras, and Hyundai's digital key all add to the overall package. The Kona is fairly roomy up front with comfortable seats. The Limited comes with heated and ventilated seats, and the leather seats were supportive and well padded. Head and legroom was impressive up front and will accommodate adults of all sizes. Second row seats will be much tighter for adults with minimal legroom. However, all three of my kids managed all right in the back. The Kona Electric offers 19.2 cubic feet of space behind the second row and 45.8 cubic feet with the seats folded flat. This is neither best nor worst in the class. Cargo space is a mixed bag in this segment and will require some visits to the dealerships to determine what is most important to the buyer. Kona Electric is packed with a range of safety and driver assist features regardless of the trim level. Standard active assist features include blind spot collision avoidance, rear cross traffic collision avoidance, forward collision avoidance with pedestrian detection, lane keep and follow, driver attention warning, safe exit, and rear seat occupant alert. Stepping up to the limited most notably adds highway driving assist. The Kona Electric offers an affordable entry into the world of electric vehicles with its SEL model. It comes well equipped with a long list of safety features, updated technology, and good range. Power is good for the SEL model's price point, but I would hope for more when shopping in the Limited's mid $40,000 range. I enjoyed the Kona overall and would recommend opting for the SEL. It's a stylish vehicle that would be ideal for an urban environment. That's a wrap of my review of the 2022 Hyundai Kona Electric. This compact crossover is a great little car for urban environments, and with gas prices as high as they are, you might want to consider this electric version. For the full review, visit drivechicago.com, and be sure to subscribe below for even more automotive reviews. 
here on our YouTube channel. And give us a follow on our other channels, including Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. I'm Jim O'Brill with Drive Chicago. Thanks for watching.